These are the solutions to the 2022 Leaving Cert Maths Paper 1 at higher level. Question 1a. Find the two values of m, an element of the integers, for which the following equation in x has exactly one solution. So this question here is getting us to look at the discriminant. And the discriminant is given by part of our minus b formula, which is b squared minus 4ac. Now it's saying exactly one solution, so this is where my discriminant is equal to 0. The a is the coefficient of the x squared, the number in front of the x squared, that is, so that's 3. The b is the number in front of the x, which is minus m, and the c is equal to positive 3. That's the constant. I just filled those in now, so that's giving me b squared, which is minus m, all to be squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is 3. That's equal to 0. So I'm trying to get that equal to 0. Um, minus m squared is m squared. Minus 4 times 3 times 3 is 36 is equal to 0. Add 36 to both sides or move over that 36 becomes a positive 36. To get m on its own, it's the square root of 36. And the square root of 36 is plus or minus 6. And the question wanted us to find the two values of m. So that's positive 6 or negative 6. Looking at part B to that question 1, explain why the following equation in X has no real solutions. Uh, a couple of ways we could do it. Let's look at option 1 first of all, and I'm going to link it here to the discriminants in fact. So I'm going to go about it the same way. So the first thing I could do is I could multiply out this uh, square. So that means I'm multiplying it by itself. So 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, and I'll forget to add in the 7 then. When I multiply that out, I get 4x squared plus 12x uh, plus 9 plus 7 is equal to 0, which is 4x squared plus 12x plus 16 is equal to 0. And like I said, like in part A here, I could use my discriminant, so minus b, um, or sorry, b squared minus 4ac, and it's no real solution, so I'm looking for less than 0 here. My a, the number in front of the x squared, my b, the number in front of the x, the c, the constant. So filling that in, I get 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 16, and I'm showing that that's less than 0. So that's giving me 12, 12, 1, 4, 4, minus 4 times 4 times 16, so 16 by 16 is 256 less than 0. And when I work that out, I get minus 112 less than 0. And there it's proved. Therefore, no real solutions because my value is less than zero. Now that's one way of doing it. An alternative way we could have done that question is by looking at maybe imaginary roots. So come back here to the original equation, 2x plus 3 all to be squared plus 7 equals to zero. If we subtract 7 or move that 7 over, that gives us 2x plus 3 squared is equal to negative 7. Let's try to get rid of that square by getting the square root to both sides. So that leaves me with uh, 2x plus 3 is equal to the square root of negative 7. Now we know we can't get the square root of a negative number, but if you're familiar with your complex numbers, that's the same as the square root of 7i is equal to 2x plus 3. Moving over that 3 becomes a negative, so 2x is equal to square root of 7i take away 3, get x on its own, so that would be the square root of 7i, take 3, all over 2. And there is a imaginary root, there's our complex number for the value of x, so that's telling us that it has no real solutions. But maybe option 1 was probably the easier way to go because it links it to part a. Part C1, show that x is equal to minus 1 is not a solution of the following equation. So, look, to show if something's a, uh, a, a, a solution, we can sub it into the equation and it should equal to 0. So, if we sub in um, the minus 1 for x here, we get 3 take away, uh, ah, that's a plus there. So, that gives me negative 2, yes, that's right, plus 5 is equal to 0. That gives me 8 subtract 2 is equal to 0, 6 is equal to 0, and 6 is clearly not equal to 0, so therefore not a solution. Not too hard on that part. 
Uh, see part two. Find the remainder when 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is divided by x plus 1. So using algebra here, and I'm going to divide x plus 1 into 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 x into 3x squared, well that goes in uh, 3x times. Multiply back down that 3x by x gives me 3x squared and 3x by 1 plus 3x. Multiply across by minus 1 or change the signs here. 3x squared take away 3x squared will cancel and 2 take away 3 gives me negative 1x. I'm then bringing down my positive 5 so I'm now dividing x into minus 1x, which gives me just minus 1. So multiplying back down at minus 1 gives me minus 1x, and minus 1 by positive 1 is negative 1. Same thing again, multiply across by a minus or change the sign, so that one becomes a plus, that becomes a plus, they'll cancel, and then 5 plus 1 is 6. So that's basically just telling me, so therefore my remainder is equal to 6. And if we go back up to the question here, it says that is find the value of C when the following is written in this form. Now, I just want to check if that's true. So my answer here, we can move on if you wish. Remainder is six, but I kind of just want to check this part here. So first thing I'm going to do is if you look at this one, X plus one, that's this. The next thing I'm going to look at is um, this part here, which is the ax plus b, that's my uh, 3x minus one. So 3x minus one. And the final part is my c, which is my remainder, which is six. So this is plus six. And if you multiplied all that out, um, you should get uh, 3x squared, and you do 3x squared plus 2x plus five. And that's just a quick way of checking if you're happy enough for your value for C. So my answer there, remainder C is equal to six.